Greens of one, happy Sunday. Now, what I've decided to do for this Sunday, since I'm not doing a dance video, is look at a classic video from the DreamWorks Prince of Egypt movie, where it's called Through Heaven's Eyes. If I got a nice reaction like this, would be fitting for God's day, as it were. For prayer, understanding, and believing in each other. I figured this would be a fitting movie for that to show through. So, let's check it out. <laughs> I just realized, hmm, he's changed somewhat. That's actually a beautiful analogy because when you think about it, our society is similar. Like, we could see anyone in a crowd. And just like the string in the tapestry, we don't see ourselves or think of ourselves as a part of a bigger machine all the time. We just think, oh, go to work, go home, try and rest up, prepare for work the next day, or try and figure out a time to take a vacation. And with the stone on the top, we got to think about it. Like, we're born in different areas. Like, we're born in the higher highlands of like Yakima or something like that near the mountains or we're born all the way on the coast by like say Olympia or something like that but we don't always think about where we're born or where we live as better than other people unless you know people make it that way like through Bel Air or something like that but when you think carefully on it and look through what you what you understand about it it's actually interesting to think about how we all see ourselves in different ways. Like, we have a friend who thinks, oh, we're the great guy who's a great friend. Or we have other people who don't click with us and they think, oh, I, get out of my way, I don't like you. Or we just have our family who loves us unconditionally, but even we don't mesh all the time. And that's what's interesting about this song. Like, it touches on that. Like, how our views affect how we value ourselves. And through heaven's eyes, we're actually judged for our actions, how we live. But through the man, eyes of man, we don't always see that worth. Like someone could be written off as, "Oh, you're not, uh, you're not worth my time, or you're not, you're not worth the, the, the understanding that I want to try and give you, and you're, you know, you're not fit for this job." Or you know, like our values are judged every day, whether it be accidental, deliberately, or through what we think ourselves are worth to life. But through this song. We understand something. Now we have a way to see our value through a way that isn't physical. Whether it be spiritual, whether it be philosophical, whether it be through the arts, whether it be through helping others. Like we have other ways we can contribute to society versus trying to get to like the highest job to make a change. We can make small changes. That's what's important to understand. Mm hmm Yeah, because the value changes through man. Yeah, that touches back on what I was talking about before. Like, you could have all the money in the world, like a whole lake of gold in the desert. But if you're thirsty, needing to survive, that lake of gold ain't going to do jack diddly for you. 
So, when you're in the desert, dying of thirst, and you find water, that water suddenly becomes more, worth more than like a $10 million mansion, a million dollar car, and like a $1 billion business. Like, you're gonna be the owner of Amazon, it won't save you in the desert. But a lake of water versus a lake of all your money, that'll help you survive. And even with the animals, like, we always say dogs are man's best friend. We always say that cats are like the aloof friend, if we would. But the animals that we take care of see us differently than what we see ourselves. That's why dogs, when they see us sad, they'll cuddle us. When cats see us sick, they'll make sure that we're okay. They, the animals see us differently because they're not looking at us through the eyes of what we see as valuable. They see us through the eyes of someone who takes care of them. And to them, that makes us better than like the Amazon CEO or Disney CEO or anything like that. That, that makes us valuable to their eyes. Just like, like you could have a king walk through that herd of sheep. They won't part for him. He's just another human to them. But if they suddenly see the shepherd's crook, the guy who takes care of them and watches after them, he's suddenly the guy that they'll part for and actually welcome to their herd because he's there to keep an eye on them. Yep, and that's just like what they said. If we look at our value through the eyes of man on what we have for wealth or what we own, then we're always going to feel insignificant, like there's more to grab. And that's where greed originates from, or envy, jealousy, um, where we want a lust for power, as it were. But if we think carefully and look at ourselves through heaven's eyes to see our value of what we've done versus what we have, You'd be shocked at how much you actually have for worth. Because, hey, to, every, to someone, somewhere, you have value. Never forget that. In the grand scheme of things, with everyone here, over 7 billion people on Earth, well, close to 8 billion now, but over 7 billion people on Earth, someone, somewhere, values you. And someone, somewhere, knows that worth. And just like this song said, what is the worth of a man? If we judge him based on his actions, then he'll constantly change. If we judge him through his good deeds, the value goes up or down depending on who's affected. But if we look at it through heaven's eyes, about what we're trying to contribute, our price cannot be named. Our value cannot be seen. But what we do with our lives can be felt. <laughs> He's like, eh, let's do it. <laughs> And that's when you gotta remember, through heaven's eyes, we have different worths. We have unique worths. We have understandings that aren't always seen or felt. But when we look at it objectively, when we look at it through the eyes of God in heaven, and we look at it through a lens we haven't considered, we suddenly have a lot more worth than we're giving ourselves credit for. 
everyone has their own way to contribute. Everyone has their own way to help. Everyone has their own thoughts on how to help. But what it affects and who it affects is key. We always have to keep an eye out for who are we in the grand scheme of things. If we don't think about that, are we truly living our best life? And that's the thing. We don't know. All we can do is, from our understanding, think the best way we can live. Like some people, it's make a big company to help other people. Others, start a charity. And others still just want a simple life. Be able to provide for a family, have a family, have a house to live in, live out your best life quietly. And that's okay. Everyone has their own way of doing these. Everyone has their own value on life. Have their own value on what they want to do. But if we lose sight of that, and we fall to the side or fall to the darkness, if we don't try and open our eyes while inside, we won't see what we've done to ourselves or what we're doing to others in our spiral down. That's key to keep in mind. Always, always check what you need to do. And I think that's what Through Heaven's Eye song was trying to tell us. Your value isn't determined by others. Your value is determined by who you are, what you do, and how you live your life. Never forget that everything you do, it has a purpose. It has a way to help. It's up to you to see it. You guys take care. I'll see you around. Bye.